Hello there, my dear friends and fellas. How are you all doing? I hope you are doing fantastic. It's me, Werty. And today, we, you are seeing my beautiful, beautiful face. Because today, we are gonna discuss the minimum wage. You see, in the United States, from what I heard, they are planning on introducing an increase to the minimum wage from currently 7.25, I think, dollars an hour, it's gonna be increased to $15 an hour. Now, this is a proposal. As far as I know, it has not been written down into a full-on legislation. And aside from that being a talking point used by Bernie Sanders and I believe other handful of um, left-leaning and democratic candidates, it's only up for debate whether or not it's going to be a thing and what it will cost. Now, this minimum wage, this increase, has sprung a lot of debate online, mainly the debate between a lot of people being concerned that Either there's going to be higher unemployment in the United States because businesses will start to implement other methods of production and services and other things that are not include humans or will drive uh, small businesses out of business because they will not be able to pay the minimum wage to their workers. However, there are several questions here to ask regarding this bill, or proposal, may I say, that I haven't seen anybody talk about at all. Now, as a disclaimer, I'm not living in the United States, as you can probably see from all the language behind me. I live in Israel. That being said, I live in a country that implements minimum wage laws, and we have several laws. And they are all inter inter intertwined together. And there are ways to legally use them in order to not really go by them. I'll explain in a bit. So, basically, what is this law? The, if I quote Bernie Sanders here, or from the tweets that I've seen long, long ago, or rather screenshots from them that I've seen on Tumblr because I'm not on Twitter. Don't judge me on that. <laughs> Bernie Sanders claims that this increase from whatever to $15 an hour will make it as a livable wage in order to push people above the uh, poverty line, uh, help people to actually buy whatever they need, including insurance and food and pay the bills and whatnot, and not needing to work 100 bazillion other jobs in order to meet their uh, monthly consumption. However, I have several questions here. First and foremost, this $15 an hour, is there a monthly salary equivalent to that? Because... In Israel, for example, whenever they have proposed the minimum wage way back when, and when they started to up update it in 2016, if I remember correctly, actually, no, it was 2014, they had the minimum wage, minimum payment per hour, but also they had the minimum salary a month. Another question that comes to mind is is this $15 an hour? impacts minors because here is the thing this law impacts all United States citizens it doesn't impact uh, immigrants legal and illegal so this is true for adults who are working adults age 18 and older up until retirement what happens to kids who are working because whether you want to believe it or not, there are a lot of families where the children, high schoolers, are going to work. And they are not 18. They are sometimes 14, 15. 
Is this $15 an hour will it impact them at all? And if so, by how much? It doesn't mean that they are also gonna get paid $15 an hour? Because if so, maybe nobody will want to employ them. Because if you pay the same amount of money for an adult who can actually work more, you would rather employ an adult and not a child. Another question is how it will impact people who are not working full time. People who are working by hour, for example. And here is an important thing to note that a way it's no longer even a bug or a bypass, it's a feature in the Israeli law. You can practically limit yourself instead of paying for uh, paying full salary or deciding which type of salary you are gonna pay to your employee, you are paying them per hour worked. So you are basically saying you have X amount of hours a month, do them, and you will get paid for them. In such way, you are not allowed to do any extra work unless the, um, your employer explicitly ask you, asks you to do it and then you are getting paid extra. And basically you can bypass this whole minimum wage completely because you can limit the work in a way that you are still making less than the minimum wage if you are combining it to a salary of a month. Maybe this law will actually open a whole Pandora box here and a lot of small businesses will say, well, screw you all. We're gonna limit you, cut all of your hours by half and we're still gonna pay you the same, the same amount. This is actually the thing that now come to think of it. You could understand where the conservatives coming from those who are or those who are talking about the base business just running out of money because they will have to empl employ more people or ground their work to a halt another question that comes to mind from all of this increase is how will it impact the income tax because let's face it when you are doubling your minimum wage you are doubling your income. Will the income tax increase itself from being whatever it is today to the new minimum bar? Here, for example, again, our minimum wage is the lower bar for the income tax. If you are getting paid less than that, you are not paying the income tax. If they are not increasing that bar, does it mean that now will you pay the income tax? So here another question that comes to that. If they are not going to change the bar for the income tax, does it mean that they are not actually thinking about you getting paid a livable wage, but they are actually looking for ways to tax more people? It, it can show that you don't have good intentions there because if you are not changing the income tax, people who ha weren't paying the income tax before, now they will if they keep the same amount of hours worked. And now you have even more people paying your taxes. So you have more money coming into your government. Is it a good thing? I don't know. It's an, an important and very interesting thing point that I haven't seen anybody even talking about it. Especially the conservative ones. They are known to be against taxes or the minimum amount of taxes pa possible. And last question that I have is, will this $15 an hour be a federal thing or a law that is applied to everybody? Because if it's a federal thing, your average Joe and Jane from the tire manufacturer in Alabama or wherever are not going to get impacted by it. Their salary will remain $7 an hour and all of their things will remain the same. However, workers who are working in federal uh, facilities like uh, police, military and stuff like that, only they will be impacted by it. If so, then, well, good on ya, champs. 
you haven't helped anybody. Thank you for yet another legislation that is practically useless for 90% of the population. Very helpful. If it's gonna be a thing that is implemented to everybody, how will you enforce it? Because in the United States, as far as I know, you have two types of law. You have the federal law and you have the state law. And if it's a federal thing, you can have state laws that in implement other minimum wages. But if you are doing a law that will impact them, you will have a lot of things that are contradicting the Constitution. I don't know by how much, because I don't understand this uh, division of laws. I only know that if you're going to enforce other states to do that, you might run into some issues with the Constitution. No idea with each article of the Constitution, but I know it, there is a chance. So in sum, this proposal raises a lot of questions. I've written in front of me five, however, there could be a lot more of questions that I haven't thought about. So far, the only talk I s I've seen online was about the small businesses, but not about the actuality and the practicality of this law. It could very well be that this law, in practice, will only impact federal workers and it won't really impact anybody else. Also, I haven't seen any talk about the income tax being affected by this increase in the minimum wage. So yeah, those are my questions. What do you think? Am I even allowed to talk about this thing, especially because it's not affecting me in any way, shape or form? Although it will affect my family relatives who live in the state. What are your thoughts? Let me know. Or don't. This was me. My thoughts. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.